Ettinger, Financial News Network. TFNN, Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN Friday morning, just after 9 a.m. Eastern time. We got 60 minutes to go, folks, until Chairman Powell, Jackson Hole, his, his speech, 10 a.m. Eastern time. It begins local time, 8 a.m. out in Jackson Hole. That's going to begin 60 minutes from right now as we come into the opening bell. Markets just inching to the positive right now. Excuse me. I got something there. Uh, you have the S&Ps, we'll call them flat at 4201, quite the charge higher yesterday. We'll put this thing on a five minute, zoom in on the action. Yesterday, you accelerate to a close of about 4,200. Overnight, you were negative by about 20 minutes, but we already got some volatility this morning. We're above 4,203, and the NASDAQ 100 up six points right now, 13,162. You got the Dow up 68 points right now, 33,340. All the markets inching into the positive with about 30 minutes to go until the opening bell. Russell up by one this morning, crude backing off a bit as the market charged higher yesterday. Part of the acceleration, crude, dipping to lows of 92.50. This morning, we just accelerated below that level. We're trading at 92.39 right now, negative by 13 pennies on the session. You got gold jumping around as well. Gold contract, negative by $10 this morning. And then an all-important Fed day, if there ever was, we got the 10-year. Negative two ticks right now in the session, 117.23. Quite a little acceleration you got yesterday, coming right up to those highs of yesterday's action in the 10-year right now. The 30-year Negative by 15 ticks, not quite back up to the levels that we saw at about 2.30 yesterday afternoon. We jump over to the VIX, volatility index this morning, backing off a bit, sitting right at about 22, almost right where you closed out yesterday's action. We were as high as almost 25 earlier in the week. Markets back off as we come into a big Fed day, sitting at about 4,200 at a price level on the S&Ps. Jumping over to the headline, it's all going to be Jackson Hole, man. Interesting article out there on Bloomberg talking about big money managers fear the revenge of the Fed on Jackson Hole Eve. Financial conditions are easier than the eve of the March liftoff. Now, what they do mention here, which is going to be interesting, right, is that we're coming into that balance sheet reduction as it's going to double the numbers on the balance sheet reduction. Getting those numbers, I'll get to them in the program. Coming up on the morning market kickoff. Uh, pulling those numbers, though, they're going to double the balance sheet reduction in the coming months. Interesting to see how that shapes financial conditions as we go forward. It's more than the interest rate, right? It's the balance sheet that they have going on uh, that they're going to let roll off potentially. Big day, folks. Stay tuned. I'll be coming back for the morning market kickoff in three minutes. Stay tuned.